Hi. This instructional video is about three circles again, but this time they're intersecting. In fact, they're intersecting where the circumference of one circle is intersecting at the center of the other, creating a pretty cool design. In fact, <laughs> I could just go crazy and make a whole bunch of these things and see what happens. But here's the question for this one. Find the total non-intersecting areas of the circles when the radius is four units. What that means is this. See that here, here, and here? Let me show you that for you. There, find the shaded area. See if you can figure this one out. All right, here's what we're getting. First of all, just like the previous instructional video dealing with three circles, but did not intersect, what you end up is where the circumferences intersect. Right there, right there, and right there. If you were to draw a line using those as the vertices of a triangle, you end up with an equilateral triangle. Here, I'll show you, look at this. So, what you're trying to look for is the shaded region. And if you could see it closely here, what you actually have is a semicircle, but you are going to have to take away the circular segment. That little part right there is a circular segment. Of course, these little things right there are called the arc length. We really don't need to know that because we're talking about areas right now. We're looking for the areas, so we don't need to know the arc length. But we will need to know the chord length, because that is the chord. The definition of a chord is a line that goes from one circumference to the other and not going to the center of a circle. So we need to know that. Now I'll explain why. So here's what we do. If we have a circle here, <laughs> let me use this little old tape dispenser ring right there. Here's what we have and suppose this is the center, what we actually have is, see that line right there? Right there? That's gonna be that line right here. And that is a unit four. But what I did not draw over here, take a look at this, see if you can see this. From here, the circle, the center of that other circle to that center, see that right there? That's gonna be right there. That's also four, you see that? Why do we need to know that? Because that right there is a sector of this big triangle. Same as over here, from that point to there. And to there is another sector, excuse me, is another sector identical to this one. So let's find this one. So how do you find that? Well, it is coming from an equilateral triangle, remember? And that is 60 degrees. And the area of a circle is pi r squared, but 60 degrees is only one-sixth of the entire 360. So we're going to divide it by 6. And so that's going to become, well, the radius is 4, so 4 squared is 16. So that's 16 pi over denominator 6, which reduces to 8 pi over 3. Now check this out. See that right there? We're going to make that into our equilateral triangle. And that right there is that circular segment. That little shaded area is a circular segment right there, which we need to take away from the semicircle of this one shaded region. Are you confused yet? <laughs> so how do we get that little circular segment? Well, we have to know the chord length. Well, this is an equilateral triangle, which is another representation of a Sierpinski's triangle. See that? This small equilateral triangle is part of the bigger equilateral triangle with a factor of two. So that means this core length is also four units. Because after all, it is an equilateral triangle. How do you find the area of that equilateral triangle? Well, the apothem, which is also the height, this is the apothem, 
which is the height. Let's take that divide in half so we know that that's a half the length and that's a 4. And just like the previous instructional video, this falls under the 30-60-90 rule, 30-60-90 ratio. So that's, if that's 2, that's double that and this is square root of the x. And that becomes the height. So that the area is 1 half base times height of that equilateral triangle. So 1 half times base is the 4. And the height is the longer part of the leg, which is 2, square root of 3. 2 reduces that coefficient 2, therefore it is 4 square root of 3. That is the area of the triangle. One triangle. So what we want to do is take the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle, and what you're going to end up is that little, uh, that little circular segment. But rather than evaluating it yet, let's just take that. Excuse me, that's my text. Okay, but if you wanted to get an idea of what this would be, I guess I could punch it in uh, on a calculator like this. Let's use a parenthesis to enclose that first quotient. So 8 pi divided by 3, close parenthesis, minus the area of a, the equilateral triangle, the little one, which is 4 square root of 3. And that will be about the value of 1.449, say, something like that. Okay? And that represents that little circular segment right there. 1.4494, something like that. All right? And that right there is that little portion right there. Okay? But how many do we have? We have one, two. For each circle, we need to take away from that semicircle. Okay, so now what do we do? So let's find the area of the semicircle. So area of a circle is pi r squared. But we don't want the whole thing, we just want half of it. So divide that by 2. The radius again is 4 units from here to there so that's 16 so 16 pi over 2 and that's 8 pi okay that's that's for this right there okay that's for the semicircle all right now however I have to take away the two circular segments See, that is not part of the shaded region here. So, we need to take away two of those from there. So, that's going to be 8 pi minus twice the circular segment, which is 8 pi over 3 minus 4 square root of 3. Are you confused yet? <laughs> All right. So... Now I'm going to punch the whole thing in, in a calculator. Let's see if this guy can handle this without blowing up. Here we go. And make sure I correct, punch in the correct keys. 8 pi. So far so good. Minus twice. Here comes a parenthesis. But I'm going to put a parenthesis around that too. 8 pi. Close that parenthesis. Oh, divided by 3. Close that expression out, minus 4 square root of 3. Close that little guy, and then close up the whole thing, and let's see what happens. I get 22.23398687. What is that? That is semicircle without those two little circular segments. However, how many do I have of those? I have one, two, three. So times that nasty number times three. So the total of those becomes 66.701960 blah 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 
unit squared. Did you get all that? Did you get all that? Woo-wee! I dare you to try that when you have six units. And just for fun, three units. Enjoy.